This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. You no doubt have seen <laughs> that Donald Trump had a huge announcement the other day. And then yesterday we got to see what the huge announcement was. Many thought that it might be him throwing his hat into the ring in the running to be Speaker of the House of Representatives. Many thought it, it's something else related to a bombshell in one of his many, many legal cases. And it was none of these things. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> what are we doing here? It is so stupid. <laughs> Donald Trump digital trading cards. You may have seen. I'm just look. I'll play. <laughs> I'm gonna play his uh, his announcement about it, <coughs> and then uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some serious stuff that, like Steve Bannon, is is just beyond. He's beside himself. Some of the racists who've been let back on Twitter are like, ah, I'm going to jail for an NFT salesman. A lot of people are upset, as well they should. But they have only themselves to blame. They, they walked into this. We've been talking about who Donald Trump is for years now. And they're just now figuring it out that he's just a stupid grifter with authoritarian tendencies, to be sure. But they're now losing. Anyway, here's Donald Trump's announcement video. And then I've got questions about why he needs to put these fake trading cards out there, these NFTs, because we got plenty of images, the plenty of, of uh, trading cards of our own that we can show. Watch his announcement. Hello everyone, this is Donald Trump, hopefully your favorite president of all time, better than Lincoln, better than Washington, with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump Digital Cards just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have or golf with you and a group of your friends at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, autographing memorabilia, and so much more. We're doing a lot. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive community. It's my community, and I think it's something you're going to like, and you're going to like it a lot. They also make perfect gifts. So you can buy them with your credit card or crypto. All you need is an email address. Go to collecttrumpcards.com and buy your Trump digital trading cards right now before they are all gone and they will be gone. This is my first official Trump trading card NFT collection and you get a chance to meet me. Go to collecttrumpcards.com right now and remember Christmas is coming, and this makes a great Christmas gift. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on! What is happening? Even for Donald Trump, this is gross, grimy, skeevy, skeezy, griftery. And MAGA World's not happy about it. Here's a clip leading out of this on Steve Bannon's show where he's upset about what the hell is going on. Watch this. Trump digital trading cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible- Okay, I got it. I got it, I can't watch it again. Make it stop. Um, on a day when you have one of the most important announcements about really the coup and about big tech oligarchs involvement in it and what's going to happen and how you're going to clean out this mess and 
the sense of urgency, I think it has to start now. That's why President Trump's got to get engaged in this omnibus, because we have the ability to execute on his plan now, although you don't control the White House, as command by negation with the House and the appropriations bill. This thing comes out, and this is whatever. And they said yesterday was going to be a big announcement. Look, I thought the announcement could be, people were coming to me, is he going to announce for speaker? Is he going to do this? Is Are the things he's going to do? What's this huge announcement? Quite frankly, if they had teased that it was the six-minute video on getting to the, on, on free speech and getting to the, destroying the ecosystem of lies and misrepresentations, uh, that would have been huge. But we got this. Unhappy. Here's another clip coming out of that. Uh, he's talking to Sebastian Gorkin and, and, and Steve Cortez, a couple of just magnified sycophants, to be sure. Uh, watch this again, and look at Seb Gorka's face just shaking his head in disapproval of this whole spectacle. Watch this. Now, they're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. Okay. These okay. cards feature some anymore. of the... I can't do this anymore. He's one of the greatest presidents in history, but I gotta tell you, whoever, what business partner, and anybody in the comms team, and anybody in mar lago and I love the folks down there, but we're at war. Mm-hmm. They ought to be fired today. You came out with something that's so important, which I still don't think gets to the heart of it. And hey, you don't have three harder cores than Cortez, Bannon, and Seb Gork. <laughs> so when they're, and we're getting blown up all day on this. Seb, walk me through it. Walk me through your assessment of this, sir. Never should have happened. I, I mean, so look, it's fun, it's hyperbolic, but whoever wrote that, that pitch, should be fired and should never be involved in any bit. I don't want them making the, the, the presidential napkins for Mar-a-Lago, okay? Anybody who came up with that. And the president's war chest is, is pretty strong right now. We've got two years until the actual you know, inauguration. We don't have time to waste. If you want to do this kind of stuff, you know, have, 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 a, have a peon do it. Okay. Get, get somebody who's recognized in the MAGA world to, you know, put their face to this thing and do it. But the president should not be involved with this. Here's what I find interesting about this particular clip is Steve Bannon comes out of it, shaking his, I can't take this anymore. I don't want to watch this anymore. And Seb Gorka, harumph. Yeah, then they go on to blame the comms team. There's no blame for Donald Trump whatsoever. No finger pointing at Donald Trump because he's ultimately the one making the decisions. He's not uh, an infant. He's a 70-something-year-old man, nearly an octogenarian, who's lived a life filled with experiences. You can't blame his handlers. He's a former president of the United States of America who has agency and can make decisions on his own. He decided to do this. He decided it was a good idea. By the way, they sold out. He made like four and a half million bucks off this nonsense because MAGA world is filled with idiots, filled to the brim with morons who worship at the throne of the dear leader. Now, Why would he want to slap his photoshopped cartoon face on a superhero figure with a wrestling belt or in a cowboy outfit while out hunting pheasants or in a cop outfit or in a in a fighter pilot or NASCAR or him in a tuxedo and all of these when we have plenty to look back on. There's baseball player Trump. There's big rig Trump. Oh, and then mm, I'm a tough guy. There's uh, catching a baseball Trump. Looks terrified. He looks frightened out of his tree at catching a baseball. Here's Trump in an actual cowboy hat while everyone in the room laughs at him. Here's dancing Trump. Here's a few of Trump trying to drink water and needing two hands to do so. We have, over the course of the four years he was president, many images that will live on in our hearts and in our minds, and we can trade these freely on their internet uh, this holiday season. Here's Trump showing what a a working man he is in 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 a hard hat. Here's a classic, Trump holding up the Bible after having just gassed peaceful protesters a block away from the White House. 
Here's Donald Trump molesting old glory. I love the flag. Here's Donald Trump in a classic that has been turned into a meme, shouting who knows what at a boy who wanted to mow the, the White House lawn. I have NFTs for sale, they should put over that. Here's Donald Trump as some kind of a ghoulish spokesman for McDonald's. Here's Donald Trump uh, callously throwing paper towel rolls as emergency response to Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico while Americans were suffering. Here's Donald Trump in a classic pouty pose. Or how about this one where he's staring directly into an eclipse? And here's one of him standing like a human being stands, I guess. And then, of course, who could forget him showing the map with the little Sharpie edition over, over the, the panhandle of Florida and maybe Alabama or Mississippi. There's, there's plenty of us, plenty of these to go around for us to trade and not have to pay $99. This is where we are in the Republican Party. This is where we are with America having the Republican Party be, be one of two viable choices for people. With this man leading the Republican Party, and make no mistake, uh, the grumbling of Sebastian, Go Sebastian Gorka or, t uh, or Steve Bannon or Steve Cortez set aside or baked Alaska, the racist, this guy leads the Republican. He's sold out of these things. There is an appetite for Donald Trump again, which means there's an appetite for his dictatorial policies. Yeah, this is a joke, and he's a laughable character, to be sure. You're hopefully your favorite president, better than Lincoln, better than Washington. Y yeah. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Come on, man. 714-576-4054. Uh, you can leave me an, uh, a voicemail there. You can also email daily at dollamore.com. We can mix it up in the comments. That is uh, where the fun happens, I think. Wow. Follow me on Twitter for as long as it exists, at dollamore, on Instagram, at dollamore, and TikTok, at dollamore. If you appreciate what I do, you like to join the effort here, taking part in the mission of this program, click the join button below. Become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to help support what we do here. I love you guys. I appreciate you. It's nice to go out on the week on a high note of a little bit of fun. L listen, th this is just a joke because Donald Trump is just a joke, an embarrassment, dignity-free individual. Zero shame, not capable of embarrassment. But he wants to lead America again. He wants to uh, dispense with the Constitution, dispense with democracy, and just be elected dictator, as his dinner companion, Nick Fuentes, has advocated for on many occasions. That's why. This is important. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.